So go ahead and put your morning work under your desk, Avery. Yeah, I'm under your desk. Yes. Okay. I just looked down and saw my picture. I probably need to know why I'm here. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what story did you guys read yesterday? What was the story? I wasn't here. I didn't get to read it with you guys. What was the story? What was it about? <coughs> Setting, characters, plot. I can't. Say it had a few islands. It was about, like, how the reindeer died. The reindeer, how they all died. Avery. Of course, it was called St. Matthew's Island. Mm -hmm. and they so it was a warm place. No, it was a very cold, like, tund tundra type place in the, um, I think in the middle of the Bering Sea. It was very remote, off the, oh. it was very, so then they brought these 29 reindeer to this island, and they thought there were no predators, there is really no large animal, there's plenty of food. This will go great. And it did, and soon, throughout the years, they had 6,000 of them just starting with 29. And then, when this one person came to visit, there was only like 42 reindeer in all count, and he told this biologist that he needed to go and maybe see why all this happened. So then I think it's... So let's see what, then what did the biologist happen? What happened next, Logan? Um, he went and went to the island and scoured and he found these bones. Okay. And he broke, well, it was like, if there's fat in the bones, mm -hmm. that means they didn't die from the uh, starvation. starvation. <clears throat> and it was their fat in the bones, so they all died from starvation. Oh, they all, and the reason they died from starvation because they stamped, they trampled all over the foot food. And they were and it was like pushed down to so when I couldn't get it. So they, it was oh, Abby, did you have something else to add um, to that? I was just going to say about the fact that it was, since there wasn't enough food on the island for mm -hmm. a lot of most of the battle. Very interesting. So this wasn't a typical island that we think of, like when we mm -hmm. thought, when we read about at the beach last, last week, the beach, the warm. Oh, so this is a different type of island with reindeer on it. Anything else that you can remember from it, Gage or Sierra? Any important points that we missed? Characters? I think we covered the setting. Who were some of the characters? You said the reindeer, for sure. Anyone else? The biologist. The biologist, did he have a name? I forget. Yeah, it's pretty true. It's, a, it's, it's a like something name. Klein. Better raise your hand if you have something to say, Avery. Cole? Well, it was like a very remote island, and mm -hmm. it took the scientists like, a whole year to get finally get to the island. Yeah. Oh, so it was really far away. They had to travel. So it wasn't someplace easily easily accessible. No, we, two miles off the road. Okay. Because, um, Ms. Rathwood? Yes, Logan. It was because of, like, it was during, like, the ship couldn't... So there's a lot of different factors that went in to getting to the island and finding out why the reindeer were dying off, and there are so many. Does someone else have their hand raised in money? Avery? Um, also, they said that, just like Logan said, they were trampling their food. It was mm -hmm. like moss-like what they ate. Mm -hmm. And because they, they ran across these places too, they didn't just eat it. And when they trampled it, it was, they were, they were crushing it faster than they could, than the moss could grow. So, I believe the book put it, they were literally eating themselves out of house and home. So, did things grow very plentiful on this island? Was there a lot of agriculture? A lot of opportunities for things to grow? No. Well, there was like valleys maybe for plants, but really nothing else because it was so leaves. Right, so that's what it also could have cost. Um, the reindeer to have a difficult time to find to find some type of food to eat. So we're going to.
start with the vocabulary for this week uh, story. Like you said, same math and Irish. So let's. Okay. I'll have that. So let's say the words together. I'll say it, and then you guys can repeat after me. Bleached. Bleached. Carcasses. Carcasses. Decay. Decay. Parasites. Parasites. Scrawny. Scrawny. Starvation. Starvation. Suspicious. Suspicious. And tundra. And tundra. Very good. So who knows all of these words and the definitions? Give me a thumbs up. You know every word and every definition. Avery, you know every one of them and every definition? Good. How about if we know seven of them? Seven of the eight. Or how about 50%? Who knows 50% of the words? 25%? So we all, we all are about 50% or above. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do, like last week, we made a foldable that we use for our vocabulary words. This week we're going to make something a little bit different. It's still foldable, but it's going to be like a step book. So it's pretty fancy. So what we're going to do here is you're going to take, I'm going to give five pieces of paper, colored paper, and on the top you're going to write the story's name. So you can write And then you'll write the vocabulary words on each color. So you'll write bleach, carcasses, decay, and then you're going to have two colors, two double colors here, which is okay. And then parasites, scrawny, starvation, suspicious, and tundra. And then, so we have bleach on the purple. Then you're going to go into your dictionary or glossary, look up the definition and meaning of the word. You'll flip this up and write it on top of the yellow, the definition. So it's like a flip book kind of. So you'll have bleach, the vocabulary word, and you can open it up and up top you'll write the definition that's hidden by the purple. And then you'll go to the next word. Do we have any questions about this? Look. Yes, please put your name on the back. I'm sorry? Yeah, you'll just put your name on the back of this. Okay? So, we have four volunteers to help me pass out paper. Samantha, John, Kennedy, and Logan. That's that one, one piece of each color to everyone. 